30 years ago, the Skyway opened to cheers and hopes of expansion into nearby neighborhoods. Now, with the Skyway's end in sight and with autonomous vehicles as its long-term replacement, JTA is already working on its expansion plans. The autonomous vehicle program is called the Ultimate Urban Circulator, or U2C for short. It's a three-part plan that begins in downtown, on Bay Street, and expands into Riverside, Springfield, Brooklyn, the sports complex, and beyond. But it all starts with the Bay Street Innovation Corridor, which is being funded through a $12.5 million grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation. The project will feature as many as 15 autonomous vehicles running on Bay Street between the sports complex and Hogan Street. But JTA wants to run AVs at both ground level and on the Skyway's elevated platform. And that's where Phase 2 of JTA's plan, Autonomous Avenue, comes in. Autonomous Avenue is an elevated test track that will run between Jefferson Station and the new Regional Transportation Center at La Villa. We will remove the center guide rail, essentially creating a roadway at elevation that can be used with autonomous vehicles. Bernard Schmidt is leading the autonomous vehicle effort for JTA. He says the Autonomous Avenue project will be a proof of concept that will allow the JTA to then retrofit the entire Skyway infrastructure to accommodate autonomous vehicles and expand the current system from a two and a half mile elevated track to a full 10 mile transit network, both elevated and at grade. The new AV network would expand the Bay Street project all the way down Bay Street to the new transportation center and into all the locations the Skyway was originally planned to go, but never did. But that's not all. Part three of the U2C initiative, something called Agile Plans, takes the autonomous vehicles far beyond downtown and the Skyway infrastructure. JTA is working on plans to put AVs all over Jacksonville. We've actually mapped out about 22 other locations where we can do small circulators, essentially leverage exactly what we're doing um, on Bay Street and here on the test track and in Autonomous Avenue, but at different locations throughout Jacksonville. JTA is considering more than 20 locations to run the AVs far beyond the downtown core, places like the beaches, hospitals, and local colleges and universities. We've had a, a, a lot of interest in, in different projects. Um, we have local universities that are very interested in what we're doing and how to put a circulator on their campus. Um, we are certainly in dialogue and in conversations with places like Mayo Clinic and the beaches. And so uh, we will continue to leave options open. As for when all of these projects will come together, Schmidt says right now only the Bay Street project is funded and the target is within three to five years. The authority has been actively seeking funding for Autonomous Avenue. As for its Agile Plans project, he says the focus is on developing a public-private partnership to make that work. And while a lot of cities are interested in going autonomous and some are doing testing, Schmidt says the Jacksonville project is unique in one critical way that could change the entire landscape of the AV world. There are a lot of pilots and demonstrations throughout the United States, but the Autonomous Avenue portion is the only project that I'm aware of in the United States where we are proposing converting a monorail automated people mover system to be used with autonomous vehicle. Our ability to do that, um, and if we are successful, um, I think we'll, we'll make a big statement for the US DOT to look at that and to leverage that and a bunch of other cities that have similar systems that are in various states of good repair. So that is an incredible feat um, and, uh, and project to, to do because it, it represents uh, a big deal for what can potentially happen in these other cities. In downtown, Bill Milnes, JTA, Making Moves.